Hi everyone, I'm Sandra from MyDubaiMyCity.com and today I'm going to be giving you a few tips on how to play with lighting. When it comes to lighting up a set, the most important point to keep in mind is the mood of the scene. The right light can help communicate the mood without having to use any words. Let me show you some simple lighting techniques with the help of examples. Creating shadows. Shadows are usually used to create mystery. Although we are taught in film school how to avoid shadows when we film, shadows can in fact be our friends if we learn simple techniques. Fresnels give you the best looking shadows and light control. The further away you place your light from the camera, both horizontally and vertically, the more shadows will define your subject. One of the most simple yet dramatic ways to play with lighting and create shadows is by using kukuloris or cookies. Cookies cast shadows in abstract patterns and make it look like your actor is pondering into the wild with tree branches or window blinds beyond the horizon. And you don't even have to step outdoors for this. The best thing is that these are effortless to make. Simply make cutouts that are abstract in shape with the help of opaque material like cardboard, plastic or even foam core. I've used foam core. When you place it between the light source and the subject, intriguing shadows will form. The further away you place your cookie from your subject, the softer a shadow it will cast. Low key lighting. The next way to play with lighting is low key lighting technique. This is the simplest. All you need to keep in mind is kiss, or in other words, keep it simple, stupid. The key here is to play with existing light and not add any harsh lights to a set. For example, if you want to create anxiety in a simple relaxed scene of a person watching TV, use only the light from the television. This sets the perfect mood with minimum effort. Another example of simple low-key lighting is a street scene. Instead of adding in extra lights, use the plenty of light options that already exist. Once you've found your perfect street, try shining your car headlights from behind and slightly to the side of your subject to create a nice rim light to add drama to your scene. Or you can even have the car placed right behind the subject to get that deer and headlights look for additional drama. A great way to understand low-key lighting is to set up a single lamp on a table in a well-lit room. Place a few items on the table like a shot glass, a coffee cup, a pair of glasses and a book. Arrange them in a natural way and turn on the lamp. While recording with only the lamp light on, leave the rest of the room dark. Wait 25 to 30 seconds and turn on all the lights in the room. You will notice how the scene changes from a dramatic, perhaps somber mood to a completely different, less emotional mood. Finally, don't be afraid to explore your own mood to understand how to create mood lighting designs and you'll be prepared for any assignment that may come along. Here are some examples of movies where directors made an impact by playing with lighting. Have fun! You let Haldeman slip away. Yes. You've done worse than let Haldeman slip away, get people feeling sorry for him. I didn't think that was possible. In a conspiracy like this, you build from the outer edges and you go step by step. If you shoot too high and miss, everybody feels more secure. You put the investigation back months. Yes, we know that. And if we're wrong, we're resigning. Were we wrong? 